Good day mga educators! Muli, welcome sa ating classroom. This is Kuya Ryan, ang inyong lingkod. And for today, we are gonna talk a long stuff, but it's gonna be worth it. Dahil ito yung pinaka-core kung bakit ginawa ko ang channel na ito. Uh, matulungan ang mga kaibigan at kaibigan ng kaibigan na matuto ng online English teaching job. Okay? But before that, uh, welcome muli ang ating mga bago sa channel nito at ang mga luma din. <laughs> so I hope na you know you can enjoy your stay here and you can learn a lot of things. Okay? Um, marami pa akong videos na i-upload after this. So don't forget na i-like at i-subscribe at yung importante ay i-click yung bell button para you can be updated of my videos. Okay? or my new videos. Okay, so, at muli, um, I want to thank you guys dahil medyo malapit na to tayo sa 500. So, road to 500 na tayo. And, yeah, I hope you can support this classroom by sharing it to your friends and uh, inviting them to like and subscribe this channel. Okay? So, for today, medyo mahaba siya dahil et, ito na yung pinaka-core ng channel na ito kung bakit ko siya ginawa. Okay? And I started this teaching job online back in 2008 and until now nagiging source ko siya at namin ang aming family kahit meron tayong or meron tayong uh, lockdowns. Okay? So I want to share it with you um, who knows this can be your backup in the future or it can be your career from now on because it can benefit you a lot especially when you are uh, especially when you are a family man a family woman so you can do this work at home okay? you can work from home you can enjoy your time with your family okay all right so let's go ahead and learn about our lesson okay so I'll share with you okay yay Okay, I'll share with you and Viola. <laughs> so welcome to Kuya Ryan's classroom. At ginawa ko nalang siya sa PowerPoint presentation. And this video can benefit a lot, uh, especially sa mga tinatrain ko na ngayon. If they think that the pacing or facing is quite fast, so they can review this video at ma-refresh kung ano yung mga kailangan nilang. Ma'alala. Okay, so welcome to Kuyo Ryan's classroom. Okay, let's go. So yeah, we're gonna talk about how to do the online English class. Okay, learn how to do the online English class step by step. Okay, so for today, ang ituturo ko sa inyo ay kung paano yung ginagawa na sa klase. Okay. Um, Later on, of course, kailangan natin mga equipments like camera, uh, computer, internet, and so on. But right now, we are going to focus more on the class flow. At yung step na, by step, nagagawin natin kung ano yung nangyayari sa online class. Okay? Uh, bibigyan ko kayo ng idea. Um, sa maraming companies, each class lasts for 25 minutes. Okay? So, yun ang madalas. But, uh, some students could book like for two classes. So, you, you can have you have to talk for 50 minutes. Pero mayroon namang uh, rest in between. Okay? So, I hope you are excited now. And let's learn how to do the online English class. Okay? Pero bago yan ulit. <laughs> um, I want you to read my story. How I got this teaching job. And... That's in this description below. Okay? So, pag buwaba ka sa video na ito, makikita mo yung link. Uh, I would like to invite you to read my story first. Uh, to know how I got this job and uh, why I'm helping a lot of guys to learn this job as well. Okay? So, malalaman nyo kung saan ako humuhugot ng desire to help a lot of people to learn this job okay so I want you to spend like 
um, a few minutes to read it and then you can pause this video first at after nan that sa video tutorial okay okay you can start now I will wait for you Welcome back! Uh, mukhang natapos mo nang basahin ng aking story and I hope you have been inspired because of the story. Okay, so that was a real story and it helped me to grow as a person and to like have a bigger faith <laughs> sa ating Diyos that if we pray and if we trust Him, like everything is possible. Okay? So, I want you to do the same while we are doing this training. I hope that you are also conversing with God or our Father in Heaven to help you out to absorb what you need to acquire or to absorb. Okay? So, thank you. So, you are now inspired to do this job. So, let's just continue. And, small request. Uh, kung bago ka lang dito, don't forget to like okay like muna at subscribe at share ito sa inyong timeline okay it won't take you like an hour to do it but by this you can help me grow this classroom or this channel uh my extend pa yung help sa mga nice matuto ng online english teaching job okay so let's continue All right um this will be beneficial for those people who have like teaching background uh, pa passion in teaching chambre uh, diligent ka <laughs> okay so if you have these things okay it's gonna be much easier for you to acquire the things you need to okay so you have teaching background passion so teaching uh, love na love mo yung teaching at ikaw ay diligent so when you're diligent when you feel down and feel like inadequate of teaching you know, you're still trying your best to be a better like version of yourself okay so you're still trying to learn how to do the teaching job kaya it's sobrang hirap okay because you are diligent okay and you're persistent so let's continue at again, I uh, just want to remind kung meron kayo mga ginagawa at uh, feeling nyo sobrang haba ng video na ito, you can just pause the video, tapos tandaan nyo lang kung saan kayo huminto then continue it kung may free time na kayo, okay? So, let's continue. Uh, today, I'll be I'll be talking about the class flow. Okay? Yung class flow mismo. Hold on. Okay. So, teaching background. At ito yung pinaka class flow na gusto kong ituro sa inyo. And to tell you what, I've been using this since 2008. At lagi kong naipapasa ang interview at mock class sa bawat company na aking pinag Okay? So, as early as now, I want to like tell you if you can perfect this like this pattern uh, I'm pretty sure that you can pass the interviews and mock classes or sample classes that you will give to your interviewers okay so kahit sa anong kumpanya okay pero marami pang factors that we can that, that we will be discussing very soon okay so una ito yeah opening spiel so yung una, at pangalawa ay icebreaker or warm-up questions. Uh, ko na after ng warm icebreaker or warm-up questions, didiretso ko na sa lesson proper. Okay, at sa lesson proper, meron ditong give corrections to your students, praise your students. Kung may nagawa siya maganda, of course, you have to do it. And you have to do it sincerely, okay? And how to interrupt the students politely. Okay, at mamaya ibibigay ko pa yung ibang details. Medyo malaki kasi sa lesson proper. Pero ibibigay ko sa inyo yung details kung ano yung mga kailangan yung maalala na gawin sa lesson proper. Okay? 
and lastly before the end the class ends so you have to end the class properly so ano yung mga dapat mong gawin before you end the class okay so summary of corrections complementary notes indication to the next topic and schedule okay okay so himay himay natin siya okay uh don't worry uh, hindi naman ako kailangan mag okay magsalita ng english derecho because this is really designed for those people na natatakot <laughs> sa online english teaching so I, I we had our like second batch sa panahon na ito or sa taon na ito uh, before like years back i used to run a training center online and nakapag-train ako ng mga 20 to 30 katao and a lot of them are doing the job and helping them to earn money while staying at home okay okay so yeah let's go to this one okay yeah so opening spiel at napakadali <laughs> napakadali niya so una uh, ang tatandaan nyo lang ay greetings and you have to tell uh, to to say your student's name Okay, so many examples dito. Um, first example, I hi Mary. Okay, at yung next ay yung ayong pangalan. For many companies, they require their teachers to do this pattern, kasi pina promote nila yung kailang company. Okay, so this is one quick example. Say hi Mary, I'm Teacher Glenn from ETC. Nice to meet you. Okay, so this is standardized, but I have a book that has a lot of options or a variety of ways to do the opening spiel. Okay, so is send ko rin sa inyo at free lang siya. You can just tell me if you are interested. Okay, so hi Mary, I'm Teacher Glenn from ETC. Nice to meet you. Okay, so try nyo nga. Pwede nyo ba itry? Uh, using your name you can you can stick with the name Mary but you can use your name like your name is Edward or Rex or Cindy <laughs> okay so you can try okay I give you a minute Okay, good job. And yeah, that's that's one thing. You know, have to practice it. Okay? So you may mga activities na pinapagawa sa inyo or pinapagawa ko sa inyo, you can uh, you should not skip it because it will help you to uh, get used to this system or pattern. Okay? So yan ang opening spiel. So these are the examples you can have. I will read the second. Yeah, hello Cindy. My name is Teacher Emma. Okay, so dito naman wala yung company's name. So it could be a private class, okay? Or yung kumpanya ay hindi naman ganun ka strict go about the company's name, okay? And number three, Hi, good morning Rose. It's me, Teacher Rex. Welcome to our class again. So in this, in this opening spiel, it seems that the uh, student is a regular student because, yeah, welcome back to our class again. <laughs> okay, so opening spiel. Um, you can try to like practice this in your spare time and then if you can perfect it and then yes, you're done with the first part, the opening spiel, okay? So you can use your name so when you have mock classes soon, uh, you can get used to saying your name, not Glenn, nor Emma, nor Rex. Okay? So let's continue. Second part. Ito yung second part, icebreaker or warm-up questions. Uh, to tell you the truth, ito yung mga common warm-up questions na ginagamit ng mga teachers or online English teachers these days. Okay? Yung una-una ay... How are you today? 
okay how are you today so um, here you can notice that I connected this uh, wa wa and a uh, okay together I connected these together um, because meron akong video dito sa last uh, channel na ito about sa liaison uh, consonant to vowel so this is a vowel consonant and this is a vowel so to sound good when you speak English uh, you can use liaison okay or connecting words para yeah mas maganda kang magsalita ng English okay so how are you today how are you today not how are you today you can do that too but you will sound better if you can liaise the consonant to vowel okay how are you today okay so i try natin na um, okay now oh, hello Cindy I'm doing number two hello Cindy my name is Ryan how are you today all right so notice Okay, notice the the transition from opening spiel to okay, icebreaker or warm-up questions. Okay, so ito yung mga basic basic na question or icebreaker or warm-up questions na ginagamit ng mga teachers these days. How are you today? How's your day today? Hey, tomorrow is a weekend. What are you up to? What are you gonna do this weekend? Oh, how's your work? How's your study? Okay, so marami tayong pwedeng gamitin um, warm-up questions or icebreaker questions. And this is also the time where when you have to build relationship and trust with your students. Okay, building rapport with your students. Okay, but it should not took, it should not take long. Like five minutes, no. It should only take like at least the maximum is two minutes. Okay. At sa ibang kumpanya, uh, you can see that I highlighted it in white. Okay. What do you think about living in a countryside? So this is also another form of icebreaker or warm-up questions because some companies require their teachers na yung icebreaker or warm-up questions nila ay related doon sa pag-uusapan ng ninyo, ng isinyong estudyante. So, for example, ang pag-usapan niyo ay living in a countryside or the difference between living in a countryside and in the city. So, I made this icebreaker or warm-up question related to the said topic. Okay? So, sa mga, may mga companies na ganun na nare-require nila na ganun. Hindi puro, how are you today? How's your day? So, it should be related. Related to what you have uh, what you're going to discuss okay yeah so napadali lang <laughs> dahil yeah you just have to practice how are you today how's your day today hey okay how's your work okay you can practice these um, icebreaker or warm-up questions okay can you try the first one how are you today Okay, good job. Number two, how's your day today? Good job. Excellent job, educators. And you can practice the others, okay? And you can formulate your own questions but uh, you, you know, you can have a variety of options and ways to like to throw or to throw warm up or icebreaker questions. Okay? So, yan. Tapos na tayo dito. Nakadalawa ka na. Tapos ka na sa opening spiel at icebreaker questions. I tell you, madali lang siya. <laughs> okay? Just to practice this one. Okay? Alright. So, now, after that, uh, icebreaker or warm up questions, bago tayo pumunta sa may lesson proper, Meron naman tayong in between. Ito yung transition statements before the lesson proper. Okay? So, we don't just ask the student to read a material or to answer a question about the topic. Pero meron tayong transition statements that we can use before the class starts. Okay? Uh, yeah. So, there are just two here. 
uh, this the purpose of this is to give your student a signal that hey we're going to start okay so una well let's go ahead and get started today today we are going this lesson okay and then you have to state the lesson okay number two I think we are ready let's learn about the weather let's learn about animals let's learn about mm, studying abroad okay so yan yung mga statements and again meron akong book that I can send you if you're interested para gamitin yung ibang ways okay at ibang patterns sa transition statements before the class proper okay so let's continue uh, let's have an example okay let's go ahead I will use this uh, let's go ahead and get started today we are doing le this lesson okay so here okay um, Jerry okay let's go ahead and get started today we are doing unit number two and the title is our community are you ready great okay so you know transition statement when you are proceeding to your lesson okay all right so natutunan natin yung in between ng uh, icebreaker question at lesson proper ngayon pupunta na tayo sa lesson proper na medyo madugo <laughs> but again uh, you can do it okay as long as you are determined uh, as long as you are asking help from God okay I I really think that you will be able to acquire the skills you need okay and I doubt na hindi makuha yung mga bagay na matututunan mo dito okay so ito na yung lesson proper at marami ka ditong activities or activities and ito yung pinaka details na kailangan mong laman okay so ano ang nangyayari during during lesson proper so una yeah you ask your students to read okay okay pangalawa describe pictures okay you ask your students to describe pictures so they can talk more then throw follow up questions yan napakalaga din yan because uh, especially when the student is quite good and can answer the questions quite well so maubos ang kayo ng oras at basta ka okay like magiging kruk 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 you're gonna have your like dead air dahil hindi ka marunong mag tanong or mag throw ng follow up questions number four I give corrections at napaka importante yun dahil yun yung pinaka reason din kung bakit ka nagtuturo because the students their parents want their children to know the correct way to say a sentence or two or three okay at maraming bagay and to say the words correctly okay so give corrections then give praises because you know they also want to hear that they are doing good or great at pang ilan na ba to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Pang 7 ay, yeah, you can uh, explain the words that they don't know. But sometimes, or most of the time, they don't really ask the teachers, like, what, what's this? What's this word? Okay? They don't really use that or they don't really do that. So, as a teacher, you should be sensitive enough to know which words are not familiar sa estudyante okay and the last one give new words and use them in a sentence or antonyms pwede mo silang bigyan okay so antonyms ito yung kabaligtaran so ano ang antonyms ng beautiful ugly ano antonym ng ng short ay tall so okay in this way uh, in ca it can enrich your students like study sa iyong classroom okay so isa isa natin siya kailangan ko yata ng tubig <laughs> okay pero sige laban lang uh, let's have this example okay okay uh, yeah 
So the first one is let your students read. So how will you do that? Okay, tapos ka na sa transition statement para pumunta sa lesson. So you're now asking your student to read. Okay, so I'll give you an example how to do this. Okay, I think we're now ready to our... Uh, we are now ready for our lesson. And we are going to read this part. Okay, and Cindy, could you read this for me? You have to start here. On my street. Okay, go. And you're done. So, you're doing it. You're doing this task. Let your students read. Okay, how about you? Can you try it? Great. Okay. That's more like it. <laughs> so, keep up the good work. Okay? So, let's continue. So, let your students read. We're done. Next, I. Okay. What about next? Ayan yung gumana. Oh, yes. Okay. Next is describe pictures. So, one effective way to let your students talk is to help them describe the pictures. So, napadali lang ulit. You just have to ask your student. The student's name is Cindy. Okay, thank you. You did great on reading. And how about the picture? What do you see in the picture? Oh, yes, you can see. You see three children. What are they doing? Yes, they are playing. Okay, so you ask your students to describe. What do you see in the picture? Uh, what are they playing? Okay. What about the house? Is that tall or short? Okay. Pero na gamit ko na rin yung follow-up questions. <laughs> like, what are they doing? Okay. So, that's part of the follow-up questions. Okay. Uh, you can also, like, ask them. Uh, follow-up question, uh, for example. So, how about you? What do you like to play? Do you have friends in your neighborhood? Okay, so yun yung mga follow-up questions na you can make or you can throw, okay, para makapagsalita si estudyante, okay? So next, I give give praises, okay? And again, it should it should uh, it should be done naturally. You have to really praise your students because they really have done something really good, okay? So don't fake your praises. Dahil malalaman din nila if you are really telling the truth. Okay? Alright. And of course, you're cheating on yourself if you don't do it sincerely. Okay? And explain the words. Words that they don't know. Uh, as I was saying, you have to be sensitive enough to know. Okay? Which words are not familiar for them? So, for example, maybe you can ask the word mine. So what could be the word mine if the student knows it? Or neighborhood, okay, or street. And then from there, you can explain it to your students in your in the simplest ways. Okay? Lalo kung mga beginners so they could understand it. Oh, at kung hindi nila ma maintindihan with your ex explanation, you can use Google Translate. Kung ang iyong estudyante ay Korean, Japanese, or Chinese, or other uh, other nationalities. Okay? So, yun ang isa sa mga epektibo na gamitin kung hindi na talaga nila maintindihan kung ano yung explanation mo. Okay? Uh, na, meron ding button dun sa translator na they can, they can hear the exact sentence in their own language, in their tongue native tongue okay so we're done with this explain words that they don't know okay and another thing is give new words give new words or antonyms or use them in a sentence okay and use them in a sentence okay now I can explain to Hanina okay so you can give them new words um, for example like oh teacher what is the word what is the word buddy or friend, sorry, friend. Oh, yeah, friend. Because they don't know, 
the word in their own language and then you can explain. Oh, yeah. Uh, for example, in, in Chinese, pangyo, pangyo, uh, that's equal to the English word friend. Okay? So they will say, oh, yeah, okay, I, I understand now. Then you can give another word. Okay, you can also use the word buddy. You can type it or you can show it. Uh, you can show how it is spelled then B-U-D-D-Y and you can tell your student that this is another way to say friend so you are my buddy you are my friend okay so magiging okay mas maganda yung ganon yung yung system kapag ganon when you give your students new words aside from the words that are in your lesson okay alright so kaya pa and other tips during the lesson proper yeah for kids make sure to be creative in your class okay so marami kang pwedeng i-grab dyan <laughs> okay and I'm thinking uh, mag-enjoy ka dun sa mga next videos na ipapost ko dito sa channel na ito because uh, yun ay malapit sa atin bilang Pinoy and I think wala pa nakakaisip ng ganung materials or teaching teaching materials na pwedeng gamitin in your class. Okay? So, I hope you can click. Again, click like and subscribe at bell button so you can be updated of my new videos. Okay? Alright. Next is prepare re realia. Okay? Yung mga real objects. This is an apple. Okay? Uh, just, you just got it out of your uh, refrigerator. <laughs> okay? Or uh, this is a banana. Okay? Or this is a pen. So those are real objects. Toys, stickers, rewards, flashcards, and so on. So marami kang pwedeng gamitin uh, during your class. Okay, but don't overdo it. Uh, make sure that you still have to focus on your goal. Okay? Uh, more than entertaining them, make sure that we are like focused on our goals to teach them because it might be a markdown on your part if you will just give fun classes without your students like progressing or learning okay so you dapat ang isa sa mga bagay na that that we have to remember okay next make sure to help your students talk more than you do okay they paid for this class so they are the ones who need to practice the language, not you. So that's the that's the important thing why we have to throw follow-up questions. Ask the students to read or to uh, describe the picture. So they can participate more, okay? They can participate more and they can use the language more because you know you they don't talk or they don't speak English the whole day but only in your class okay so make sure that they will use the time to practice okay ayan so diretso tayo pa rin boy pa si Kuya Ryan <laughs> okay so the good thing about it you can pause this video okay but uh, in my case I decided it to really finish this class para isahan na lang and then I can drink uh, water yung malamig <laughs> no 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 <laughs> sigurado ma masisira ang aking lalamunan okay yeah so yeah don't forget this these tips other tips during the lesson proper okay next yes you're about to end the class at uh, one to two minutes before the class ends, okay, you can do the wrap up. Okay, so you don't just say goodbye, goodbye, and then that's it. Okay, you have to end the class properly to to leave a good impression to your students. Okay, that you are doing your job. You are not forced to talk with your student or to handle your student's class. Okay, so it's all about sincerity. Okay. And next, thanking your students for attending or cooperating. Uh, yeah, cooperating. Okay, so I was confused with the second one. 
So thanking your students for attending and cooperating. Okay, I, it's a typographical error. Yeah, you gotta thank your students, okay? And it's a magic word, not only in the in teaching industry, but in all areas. Yeah, saying thank you is a good habit, okay? And next, I review your corrections for the students, okay? Uh, give homework, magbigay ka ng homework, of course. Na-related din sa pinag-aralan nyo or sa pag-aaralan nyo. And tell what the next lesson is, okay? Uh, so giving corrections, maybe we can talk more of that in our next video. Pero yun nga, uh, as a teacher, you, you can also use um, transition statements before you come magbigay ng correction. You don't just give the correction right away, okay? So medyo rude, you're so rude. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be rude kung gagawin mo yun, okay? So you have to respond accordingly then. Uh, I even told this to you know to my trainees now you have to respond accordingly for example uh, you ask your student you ask your student a question uh, yeah Lisa uh, how's your day and Lisa says oh I'm, I'm not so good because my puppy died today or I fought a I fought with my best friend or oh sorry walang, ano, walang corrections done uh, okay, I'm gonna give another example. Um, because I fight my friend today, so I'm very sad. Okay, so notice, notice na hindi maganda ang boses ko. Wow! <laughs> Pero notice that, um, merong correction dapat na gagawin yung teacher doon. Okay? Pero, you don't just give the correction right away. So, respond accordingly first. So, dahil medyo masama ang balita, so what do you have to say? How would how would you respond to this? So, as a teacher, you could say, Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to, to say that or to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Um, are you going to talk, talk to her tomorrow? Or are you going to give her a call tonight? Okay. So, yun ang pag-respond accordingly kung ano nangyayari. Kasi, okay? Then, after that, yun na, pwede mo nang gawin yung ratatatatat. Wow! <laughs> uh, Pagbibigyan ng correction. Okay? So, yeah. Ulitin ko ulit. Okay? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That you, you had a fight with your, with your best friend. Okay? And I hope you can fix this soon. And, oh, by the way, uh, can you say this for me? Um, I had a fight with my best friend. Can you say it one more time? I had a fight with my best friend. Okay, one more time. I had a fight with my best friend. Okay, you can please write this down. And then you can type and then you can show your, your student the whole sentence so your student can write it down so they have something to review after your class. Okay? So, yun ang konting preview sa pagbibigay ng corrections. But, yeah, we can make another video about this. So, you can learn how to give corrections. Okay? Okay. At, of course, give homework. At you have to tell the student your what your next lesson is. Okay? Para mapaganda nila, of course. Okay? So, yeah. And right now... Uh, I'll be directing you to the next lesson. Sample lesson time is in the next video. So, hindi siya part ng video na ito. So, it will be in the next video. So, I want you to watch the next video. Kung magagawa ko na agad siya, then you can watch it. Uh, kung hindi pa, magantay muna ng siglit lang. Pero, dali lang yun. Uh, I'll be having a class with my son or daughter or with my wife just to give you uh, an idea at makikita nyo yung class flow na na sinabi ko. Okay? Okay. So, kung magagamit ko ba siya. Okay? At kung paano nyo siya gamitin yung class flow na to from 
opening spiel, icebreaker questions, transition statements before ng, ng lesson proper, lesson proper, at yung mga ginagawa sa lesson proper, at uh, ano pa ba? How to end the class properly. So, yun, yun yung mga part na yun. Okay? So, I hope you you have, you know, you will write it down at uh, you can review. Kasi hindi ka naman lagi nasa phone at lagi sa, sa computer. So, better if you have your notes with you para you can review the pattern. Opening spiel, hanggang mag-end the class properly. Okay? Okay, so I hope you've learned a lot of things today. At uh, ito yung pinaka-secret. For me, it's one of my secrets na ginagamit ko since 2008. Uh, kung bakit ipinapasa ko ang mga mock classes at uh, mataas yung mga feedback sa mga demo classes sa mga comp- companies right now. Okay? So, thank you so much for your time uh, sa pagtsatsaga na manood nito. Ito yung pinaka, so far, pinakamahabang video. Okay? And I hope you have learned a lot of things and you can acquire the skills very soon. Okay? And yeah, next in my next videos, I guide ko pa kayo kung ano pa yung kailangan yung gawin. At una again, panoorin yung muna yung mock class, mock class at doon ibibigay ko yung instruction para sa mga ipapractice nyo, okay? Para you can uh, get used to handling an online English class. Whew. Again, support this channel, guys. Mga educators at mga bago lang dito at gusto matuto ng, ng klase na ito. At, ano pa ba? Yeah. Uh, you can support this, again, by liking the video, clicking subscribe, okay? Huwag nyo kalimutan. At yung bell button para updated kayo or you can receive notifications kapag meron akong mga bagong videos. At again, share. Share it. Okay? Huwag kayong maging madamit <laughs> para i-share ang kaalaman nito sa mga kaibigan, kamag-anak na gustong matuto ng online English teaching job. Okay? So, see you again. Uh, see you sa next video. So, madali. Salamat. It's me, Kuya Ryan. At magkikita muli tayo. See you again. Bye-bye.